Hey, what's up, guys? It's time for a bold and a beautiful review. I know I don't like that. I'm going to go back to the bold and the beautiful review. <laughs> I feel like, what? <laughs> Last week, uh, <laughs> I, was like, I was thinking of shortening um, the bold and the beautiful because it just seemed like a lot of words. <laughs> but then I'm like, it doesn't sound right. But I'm like, probably because I've been saying the bold and the beautiful review. That's why it doesn't sound... That's why it sounds weird. But anyways, <laughs> into the review. Before I do, <laughs> one more thing. Happy Juneteenth. Belated Happy Juneteenth. Um, I did not say that last week in my review. Um, I just said Happy Father's Day. So there, I said that. <laughs> um, late, but better late than never. Does that count? Um, for holidays and birthdays too. <laughs> Happy birthday to everybody celebrating a birthday um, this weekend and until next weekend. <laughs> anyway, but also one more thing. Um, I was like, noticed that Steffi was holding a lot of bags, like trying to cover up her, like she was trying to cover up a baby bump. So I know a lot of actresses um, on soap operas, that's usually what they do. Or, you know, I know it's on other shows too, but. Um, yeah, so I had to Google, and sure enough, yes, Jacqueline, who plays Steffi, is pregnant. She announced it on an episode of The Talk, um, 417, and here it is, so two months later. <laughs> and I'm like, well, damn, I'm hella late. And then, you know what, I believe I did mention that on a review one day. <laughs> Probably back. Um, the week of the 17th. When was the 17th? Of, um, April 17th was on a Monday. So, the 22nd. Review for the 22nd. I probably did mention that and just totally went over my head. Because, you know, you know, Shannon started showing. So, I guess she, she's starting showing now. So, <laughs> well, the episodes when she's starting to show are airing now so <laughs> and that's um that's what happened last year she had um her last child in may of last year um that's, that's, the baby just turned one you already <laughs> you got like oh lord i don't know how people do that I just have kids so back to back like that but um that explains the storyline from last year with um steffi leaving right after finn's death but um Three boys. I'm like, yeah, she was a girl this time. You know, even the playing field. Um, <laughs> one girl would definitely counter three of the boys and then her husband, too. But anyways, I'm going to get into the review. <laughs> I'm mad at Steffi right now. I almost wanted to jump to the TV and slap her ass last night when I was watching <laughs> yesterday's episode. But anyways, you know, everybody's in Rome. Um, for the Hope of the Future launch, and Hope was telling Thomas, you know, as long as it's just as much his as it is hers, so if you wanted to answer any questions, feel free to jump on in. <laughs> and can I talk about her dress? Well, everything Hope wore was just really cute. I'm like, she's definitely making up for that. Horrible outfit from last summer with those cowboy boots, those booty shorts, and the cowboy boots, and that hat. Oh my gosh! I'm, I had nightmares just thinking about that thing. And I swear that was like the longest day in bold and beautiful history with that outfit. <sighs> Anyways, but I just love her dress and those shoes. They had a little flower on them. The little flowers at the bottom with the heels. They're so I'm jealous because, you know, I can't wear heels with my bad ankles. Like, I can wear them for a little while, but, you know, I, I, if I start walking, then no, I gotta take them off. <laughs> yeah, but Stephanie and Carter had walked in and they were telling, um, people were hounding them for sneak peeks at the line. And I'm like, I thought they already got, like, sneak peeks at the line. But, um, you know, that's why there was so much buzz and stuff. And, I'm like, I guess that was from, they gave sneak peeks to the buyers, maybe? I don't know. But 
I was confused, but everybody was praising Carter for all the awesome job he did um, for setting up everything, you know, the location suits, the whole trip, basically. So, I guess that's their, um, them celebrating Juneteenth. <laughs> Praise the main black character on your show. <laughs> you think about it, Carter is. I'm like, you know, it has Zendaya Paris, and then you have the detective. But you never see him. You never see them unless somebody's getting arrested. And I don't remember the time. Well, Zeke was part. Anyways. So, yeah, Zeke was part of something um, at Forrester not too long ago. But anyways. I thought it was funny how um, Hope was telling Brooke. She's like, I know you've been watching Thomas and I. And she's like, well. And Hope's like, well, I've been watching you and Rich too. So basically they're trying to. Um, cooch block each other. I was like, about to say cop block, but I'm like, um, no, cooch, cooch block is the correct word for it. But um, I thought it was funny. But Ridge, they come in and they went for a walk. I thought that was cute. And oh, I don't know if I'm ready. I'm not a ready to admit this yet. But um, um, yeah, they walked to go. Um watch um some cannon go off i didn't get the name um so basically they um these episodes were showing like um regular um things to check out you know that's traditional traditional tourist areas to visit while you're in um rome i guess um you know, they had that, the fountain, the people, <clears throat> the Coliseum. So, they went to all the good sites in Rome. And I'm like, oh, I would love to go there. I would have been a stowaway in the baggage area. Actually, I don't know if my boots would fit in there, but um, could have found a way. <laughs> Anyways, they had the um <clears throat> photo shoot with um Brooke and Hope and at the fountain. That just looks so beautiful. It's like I would just love to just I like not think about it. I think it's like the biggest fountain I've seen somewhere. Well, I haven't been many places, but thinking about that, that's huge. Or maybe it just seemed huge because they did like a long, you know, the far away shot of it. But it looked beautiful. <clears throat> Brooke's dress was pretty. I love the colors and the little sleeves on the side. But I really loved Hope's dress. It was like like confetti. Um, <clears throat> oh, um, what do you say? Over the, um, not over the shoulder, but you know, right in this area, confetti like dress. <laughs> <laughs> and um oh lordy <laughs> she um changed out of the dress it was just for the photo shoot but Brooke kept her dress on until she went to met, meet Ridge later <laughs> but um Hope did a speech you know thanking Rome for um she welcomed her welcomed them like family and it was like the silver sparkly dress as low cut, and she had like this headband on that pants as a tiara almost pretty much. So I was like, Oh, hope looks so pretty. And <laughs> oh, after and then after they were taking a pic together, hope, um, hope and Thomas were taking pics together. I'm like, Hope was taking pictures with her um headband like tiara tiara like headband. That's how I should have said it. But um that that was when I was a kid, I was like, Oh, this is so cute. Really adorable, I think so. <laughs> and then um afterwards Hope thanked um Sefi for saving her line and hopes that they could be friends. <laughs> Which is funny now after what happened later. Anyway, but, um, Hope and Thomas talks, and he talks about how beautiful she looked, 
and um just like they want to live it up before they have to go back home. So I was like, hey, we'll go to the Coliseum. So they go toward the Coliseum. While, meanwhile, Liam is trying to make his way to Rome. <laughs> Which I thought was funny. Um, um, RJ and Finn had talked him into last week. I believe it was yeah, it was Friday's episode. They were at the they were at the gym. I remember <laughs> the chick was trying to play like she can't lift the weight to RJ would help her. But anyways, that was funny. <laughs> Finn um was like uh Leon was trying to get Finn a scene if Finn would go with them. He's like, I don't wanna part Finn's like he'll set this one out, but I think deep down Finn is like, I don't wanna be part of any of this mess. <laughs> Cause Finn is like, he's just, he just always strikes me as the kind of guy that doesn't want to get involved in any kind of drama, especially if he does not need to. He just like avoids it as much as humanly possible. That's why he never went to any of those dinners when Steffi and Thomas were trying to put their parents back together. He's like, nah, I'd rather work the light shift tonight. Of the overnight shift tonight, <laughs> but um, we actually got to see Donna this week. And it was Eric. They came in, and I was like, I, "Are the writers watching my review?" I, they're not watching my reviews, but it just feels like as soon as I mention something, it happens. You know, not too long after it. But I remember I was talking recently about you know where's Donna, and so here she is. Um, Liam was asking them to take care of the kids. And then I was like, what? I was like, well, their grandparents are out of town, so. Mm -hmm. Except for Douglas has, uh, does have Taylor, but yeah, I guess Finn is like, I ain't taking care of all them kids, no. <laughs> and Beth always looks bored as shit, so I'm sure Kelly wouldn't want to play with her. Alrighty, but they agreed to take care of um take care of the kids. And um Liam, I swear, this boy is so stupid. Why is he looking for a flight? That's why I didn't understand he was looking for a flight. And I'm like, don't his dad got a jet or something? A plane or a jet? And sure enough, Billy does come over and Billy. I guess that's much closer than Brad. <laughs> Call him Brad. Bill comes over and he reminds Liam, like, um, I got a jet. And he's like, duh. I'm like, I'm sorry, but if my dad had a jet, I would remember. I'd be like, hey, yo, let me borrow that jet. I want to go to Rome to go spy on my wife. Not to support her. I just want to go spy on her and make sure her ex is not trying to push, you know, pull some shit or whatever. <laughs> Anyways, I forgot, but where did Bill say he was going? Because first I thought he was going to Rome too, and then I thought he was going somewhere else, and then he was like, I just drop you off in Rome. And then, but either way, I'm still thinking, why would Bill leave town when he has the perfect opportunity to go after Katie? Carter is in Rome. Katie is in LA, not doing nothing with her life. So why isn't Bill going over to try to get with Katie? That makes no sense. Does writers totally forget about the storyline? <laughs> Bill wants Katie back. And Bill is ever since I've been watching, he just strikes me as somebody who just doesn't give a fuck, and will just go after whatever he wants to, and any opportunity he possibly can have, and here is his opportunity to get his Katie back, and he's flying to Rome, or wherever the hell he's going. Anyways, and then part of me thought, oh, well, maybe he will talk Katie into going with them, maybe that's what it was, but no, no Katie inside, just Bill with his son, poor thing. Speaking of which, I always meant to Google who's his mom. I probably don't know the character, but yeah, and I don't blame her for not being around. 
<laughs> oh, but then again, I'm like, I don't know, maybe his mom is dead, but, but either way, I'm sure she's very happy wherever she is to be away from that dude. <laughs> uh, but anyways, yeah, Liam was trying to call Hope on the way there, but Bill is upgrading the Wi-Fi system. And I'm like, Why didn't <laughs> why didn't Liam just call Hope before he got there? But before they got on the jet. <laughs> like, I'm sure your Wi-Fi at home works. Probably the one at the airport does too. So I'm like <laughs> I was like, oh my god, he's gotta be walking in on something good and juicy. <laughs> and yes, I was just I wrote convenient. Also, why didn't Liam call before he left? Lots of question marks. <laughs> and I was like, not just not being able to talk to Hope, but also he kept talking about how happy he was. You know, he's just been for like the last month, a couple of months, just talking about how he doesn't believe that Thomas has changed and he's always mad and stuff. And then now he's talking about how happy he is, how he's reuniting with Hope. And I'm like, she's been gone for like a couple of episodes. And not like she's been gone for like months and months. He's acting like, you know, him and Hope haven't seen each other in forever. But anyways, sure enough, he shows up at the show after the show's over and hoping Thomas are um, touring the Coliseum and um, Stephanie. And he runs into Stephanie and just like, surprises him. And says he wouldn't be there for hope. And he's like, oh, I would have been so proud of her. <laughs> it was so beautiful. All the other stuff, but that was funny. <laughs> but anyway, she just goes out. I don't know. Did ever I don't remember if she told him where they were going or not, but I don't think Stephanie knew where Thomas was. I, I don't think she knew that Hump and Thomas left together. So, um, she's bad because she's supposed to be watching them. So, <laughs> good to remember her promise in Leo, Leo, Liam last week that she would watch, keep an eye on them. But, of course, she lies. <laughs> but anyways, they're um, touring the Coliseum, and Liam is, like, looking for them, and they're, like, on a higher level than he is, and they're just, like, standing there, and Thomas was talking about how proud he was of her, and she's just staring at him like he's a snack, like, mm-hmm, on a piece of that Kit Kat bar. <laughs> Speaking of which, I got some Kit Kats downstairs. I'm on a Kit Kat now. <coughs> but anyway, <laughs> and she's just like smiling and stuff. And I'm like, girl, do it. Do it. She looks like she's about to jump on him. I'm like, do it. Do it. And Liam's like looking around and he looks up just as she just grabs Thomas's face and just pulls him in for a kiss. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> and Riley, my puppy, is like looking at me like, "Go hush! I'm trying to sleep here." <laughs> I got like a bad tickle in my tonsils. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, and, Tom, and Liam sees it and it's like, "You're about to." Right, like a little bitch. And Thomas is like, hmm, I like this, so I will kiss her back. <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> and I'm like, wow. I'm like, um, you know what? I totally forgot what they said after, but they went to go eat together. <laughs> so, uh, I was expecting going back to the hotel, but okay. I mean, I'd much rather um, Liam walk in on um, Hope riding Thomas's pony, like she'd be in her fantasy last week. <laughs> the fan blowing her hair in the wind, all them candles. 
It's like, go in the Coliseum. No, that that would just be so wrong, I'm sure. People of Rome would be really pissed if they did something like that. <laughs> they for good storyline, but no. Anyways, but um, Liam's all like, like about to cry, and Steffi had walked up, saw him, and he told her what happened, and he was like, you're right. You know, Thomas wasn't the problem. Hope is the one that pulled him in the gift. And she's like, oh, so hurt. Like, I think this is of my marriage. My wife doesn't love me. She wants her ex. I'm so kidding. I have a stupid name. And Stephanie's like, oh, you're an extraordinary man. You don't deserve this. I'm like, girl, shut up. <laughs> she chatted me and don't be nice. Just be like, I told you so. But no, she doesn't do that. And then they're staring at each other. And I'm like, you better not. You, I swear and sure as fuck not did Liam kiss Steffi. Like, oh! But that's not what was supposed to happen. And sure enough, and then they just like stare at each other. And I'm like, um, my mother. <gasps> no. Steph, you got that fine ass doctor at home and you making out with this little pipsqueak, Leah? Liam Spencer. That's not the dumbest fucking name in the world. God, except for Wiley Corinthos. He is, okay, Wiley got him beat, but Liam is extremely this close to being <laughs> the worst enemy on this earth. I swear, Stephanie, if you go to bed with Liam, I'm gonna jump, I should have jumped at that TV and sprang her little dumbass <sighs> has such high hopes for you, Steffi, and you go and <sighs> slap this ass. If she don't slap this ass on my next episode, I'm gonna jump to the TV and slap her ass, too. But not her ass. Her face. <laughs> I'll leave that to Finn to slap the slap. <laughs> and <laughs> I wish I could make myself laugh. Okay, but, um, anyways, one last thing. I, I can't believe I'm about to say this. I think I believe in destiny. <sighs> I think I may be a virgin pro- Uh, I might, like, rich. I might be a bridge fan. Damn it! Ugh, these writers, they just, ugh, I swear, so writers, all of them, be doing shit that try to take me to the dark side. But Bridge and Brooke, they were just so cute this week, especially on Friday's episode from Bridge. Uh, well, it started on Thursday's episode where he looked through the Argentina keyhole. I was like, everybody just lines up to look through a keyhole? Interesting. So what did they see on the other side? So I know it's not always a brook. So what else, what else be on the other side? I, I thought of something else. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to say it. But yeah, it's like Brooke was looking for Ridge. And she's like looking at her watch. Like, where is he? And he just looks through there. I'm like, <laughs> Carter had to talk him into looking in there. He's like, oh, it's beautiful. I was like, Carter. You know, I totally missed what um Carter and Brooke, I, mean, I, I guess I missed a part of their conversation. So I guess Carter was trying to help set them up because he was trying to do good, you know. So Katie would do that, you know, special thing with her tongue when they get back, <clears throat> when he gets back. So <laughs> setting them up. And it was like, everybody was like, there were some people in line. I was like, why are they standing there? And I was like, oh, Carter explained what it was. Um, um, 
Carter, Carter was talking about it, and also I looked it up. I was like, what? That's, that's just about that. was interesting. And I was like, I don't think I've ever heard about that before. So, yeah, if I ever get to go to Rome, I definitely, I don't know. I, I'm afraid to look through the keyhole. I might get some. I already have enough stuff wrong with my eyes looking through the keyhole. I have to try to. Anyway, so Rachel Rich just like runs to her and she's like looking at her and just like he's falling in love with her all over again. And he asks her, he calls her Logan. And she goes, Logan? I was like, oh, good. Like, what do you like to call her? And she was like, say it again. And then he's like, will you be my Logan forever? <gasps> I'm not crying, you're crying. So, yeah, I should not strip them together. But I want to get, they just look so cute. <sighs> I meant to felt a little something between them before, but, you know, Rich has been acting like a lot of ass since I started watching again. But, you know, the time when he was with Taylor, it just never, I never felt right with them. Rich and Brooke. Oh! I think I like it. I shouldn't like it, but I do. Then I remember, Tori, you love toxic couples. Just look at all the couples you ship on your other soaps. <laughs> it's only a matter of time before you pick a toxic one on Bold and Beautiful. Then again, I already had it with Deacon and um, Sheila, but <sighs> haven't seen them together. I think Deacon needs to go see Sheila. It's been a while. I mean, I haven't seen Sheila in a while. What's going on with her? I want to know. But anyways, Taylor was talking with Finn. Um, he was, she was helping him with the kids. <laughs> wow. Um, they were talking about Ridge and Brooke. He's like, I'm sure Ridge will tell me everything when he gets back. I'm like, yeah, he's going to be like, yeah, so I'm going to marry Brooke again. And you're SOL. Sorry. He's talking about, oh, it's upset. We're not friends no more. But, you know, Brooke's not really a good friend. Well, I guess it's hard to be friends with somebody that, you know, you guys have shared a dick for 36 years with, so. Anyways, that's all I had to say about it. Oh, Lordy. But anyways, that's all I had to say. <laughs> Oh, Lordy. Let me know in the comments below what did you enjoy and didn't enjoy this week. And if you liked this video, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Because why not? I'm just saying. And share this video, even if it's to make fun of the fact that I may be a... a I might... Okay, I'm sorry. I think I might like Broken Ridge. Sorry. Anyways, that's all. I know I just said that. That's all I had to say. Anyways, it's a beautiful sunshiny day. It actually looks like the sun is starting to go down. I mean, it's no, it's not time for the sun to go down. It's only five, almost five. Anyways, thank you for watching. Love you guys as always. See you next week. Hopefully, maybe. <laughs> Love y'all. Bye.